Probably could. Why would you? Um, I, mean, I mean, you could just pull that's it. That's a really fun way for us to start the stream, by the way. Uh, don't be taking my wallet. Uh, hey, guys. What's up? Hey. Uh, is that the time? Hi, Internet. Woohoo! Yeah. I, know, I was debating whether or not I was going to let the Internet think that... That we didn't know. Yeah, that we didn't know. Just that we see how long yet. we could go awkwardly Candid. waiting. And then we'd be shut good. down for saying things and doing things. Ha! That's a Look at that screen so, that's not moving. No, it's not. But that's okay, because he's not moving. Can I use the stick to move? The, uh, no. no. Now it's in keyboard, and then when you get in the shit, you can use the stick to move. Right. So, uh, hi guys, and welcome to Pixelated Geeks Pixel Plays uh, Streamcast. I am I'm James Honeycomb. I'm this Jack is, Fisher. Yay. And... Well, normally he goes and next. Hey, uh, JJ Cress. Uh, yeah. And I'm going guest star Taylor T. Yay! So today <laughs> we're going to be going out. over some uh, some space. Pixelated geek in space. Yeah. Um, I understand that reference. Ha! Hey! Yeah. Yeah. And then that is in itself a meta reference of. It is. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is the absolutely stunningly gorgeous Robert Space Industries Star Citizen. Um, <laughs> JJ is climbing a ladder. Dude, there's a ladder. I don't know why you are though. I want to get a better look at the ship. Okay, you know you know where the best Shut place to look at your ship is. Inside the ship. Ooh. But uh, that's just look ship. how pretty it is. I don't know why he has so many wings. Because, because space, Taylor. More wings but means space. more, more you don't flight. need wings in space. Yes, you do. No, you Just, don't. How are you able to not flap? PCS that thrusters. That's how you control direction in space. Maybe these things flap. What's PTS? This is uh, one of the only something. ships that actually has wings. So how like, do like, I get like, into like, it, James? You, know, like, you see him moves Oh, like yeah, you gotta like hit, hit yeah. F. Yeah, yeah, look at you. What happens if you don't put that on? This is so pretty. you can't fly. Oh. The, no, the helmet is the HUD. I know, but... No. Oh, no. Use the entire ship. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh, the helmet. Oh, feet. I have feet. Oh, feet. And they move. Get, oh! But shouldn't your and jumping's not move weird. when you jump? All right, so let me let me plot down here. You need to you need to reposition yourself there, buddy boy. I don't, I don't this know. is a high-quality ceiling textures, as we can see now. JJ yes. is demonstrating them well, just yeah. for the viewers. I have a really great image with the pilot standing in the standing in the uh, the hangar seat. Hey, uh, <laughs> jumping cool. a couple of times. Look yes. at this! Oh! 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 This is so exciting! It's like a DeLorean. It is like it, yeah. So, um, you have different exteriors and interiors for your ships. Um, oh, there are multiple ships. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there are a ton of them. Does it slide out? Oh, uh, it slides out. Uh, oh, it slides out. <laughs> oh, and, and you get in, and you... Oh, push and buttons. then you... Do you push buttons? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah you, you do! Buttons. Yes, you do! <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is the biggest okay. nerd fest game ever. So now, this is the reason why you needed your helmet, was because the HUD doesn't pop up unless you want it to pop up. Now, I mean, unless can, uh, you, uh, what do I want can you just like guess and happen to end up in space like without your helmet on? No. Uh. No. You want to do the drone sim first. You should spectrum match. Right? No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. How do you select? Oh, yeah, right. So from this point forward, welcome to joystick territory. So, wait, I want to see your, your little... Aim, aim back towards the console. Yeah, you gotta mouse. use the mouse and keyboard to do that. Collision warning, missile inbound, hull breach, and G-force alert. But you're in space. There. Well, no, but you have artificial gravity on your ship. Wait, I thought I selected what it went on. You did. No, no. you just got no. out. You, uh. just, you got out. Why'd you get out? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> like, well, uh, now, hold on. Don't don't go to space yet. Oh, Let's walk sure. around the hangar for a little bit, because... Uh. No, the whole point of this is to delay gratification. That's That was... Okay. You, made that you could use the ladder, like you know. I already used that ladder. My ladder. Oh my Whoa. god! Turn the sensitivity <laughs> down on the mouse. Please. <laughs> really, really twitchy. No, 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 no. Hit escape. Yeah, just hit the the bottom of the middle button there. You see that middle? Hit the bottom of that five times. Yeah, yeah. See, okay. now it's sensitive for a normal person. So wait, there looks like there's other ships in the hangar. There are. Can I you own get two. Oh, you, can you can get any other ones. No. Oh, oh. Hold on. That's my other ship. That will be flyable. That's the exact same as the current one. That's just a different paint job. That's a target. That's a fire. And range. that, to your left, is a ground turret. 
That shows you the three ships that you have. Those are the two 300 eyes and then nice. my turret. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to be able to use my turret for eventually, but it's something. Bloom and HDR just freaked out. I don't uh, know what that was. Is there a gun for me? Alpha. There it is right there. There is a gun. Can See you that? get in? Walk, yeah. Walk up to the chair. Ooh. What Ooh. is going on with Bloom, y'all? It's the um, projector. It dims lights when, you, when it you activates. You should undo that. Make that unhappen. You. There we go. So, look at the chair. Look at the chair. Look at the chair. Yeah. So you hit one button to make it do... Everything in this game requires an input. So it they're trying to make it very real. Um, so now you have a turret. I don't know what That's we're going to be able to do with really, this really... I expected a little more oomph. Let's see how big it is. It's a laser team. I know, I mean, but... You know, lasers. I was expecting oomph. I don't get... I bought two ships and got a turret, so I'm not that upset. They didn't even really mention that, and I don't even know what it does. So I don't know how to feel about it. Shoots it shoots slightly durable targets, apparently. Yeah. So there Maybe you go. at some point there's going to be ships that can be flown or crewed by multiple people, and that's how you can defend from the base. I wonder to some degree whether or not there will be multiple like turret emplacements on ships. Yeah. Because this is definitely supposed to be... A huge MMO style. You mean larger ships then? Yes. Well, you'll get them. There, there already are two that are huge. But then I wonder. So if you have, if you have two larger ships, is the hangar different? Because there okay. are six different hangars you can purchase, and say. those are all. Um, at this point, it's all about whether or not you're a backer or a founder. That? That's you. Whether or not you're a backer or a founder, uh -huh. and how much money you've put into it. So I put. Um, that's your gear. That will change depending on what you own. Okay. Um, that's you can modify your appearance. You can see your appearance over at that other thing. This is how you look at your ships and your yeah, weapons. Weapon. Okay. There will be completely realized interiors of space stations that you can walk around oh. as you and interact with people. Mm. So if you imagine the way Eve Online looks, instead of being in a menu in a station, you're walking around so and like talking. Eve to Online people. plus APB. It's very similar. Yes. Which is is APB now a dated reference? It is. Yes, it I is. do not know what that is. Now, incidentally, if you wanted to, you could look at the interior of the other ship. You just can't pilot it yet. Or you might be able to pilot it. I wasn't able to last time. Maybe we should now, find it. how much <laughs> real money would you have to do to get ships? Or can this all this, be purchased? This, I, in order to access the Alpha, the Beta, and the Flight Sim, I put $45 into it. And what that means is that I get this ship, which is two steps up from the lowest grade, I get three months of insurance, and I don't know what that means yet. But even, three I'm months of insurance. Like insurance I'm yeah. guess. And I think probably insurance that you don't have to pay for with in game currency, but rather you just get it because you purchased yeah. it outside. Um, as well as certain and, customizations, the hangar. Um, and the main product. Yes, and okay. a full copy of the game when it releases sometime this year. Oh. If they don't push it back. No. Hey, question mark, question mark, question mark. So you need to you you need yeah, to say, select really, that. Use the sure the web, I mean that. use the directional arrows. Yeah, with with select. games like this and the division, um, yeah. you know, I'm more than okay with them use being free like flight first. we're gonna push it back. But and like, the, there I think division options. already got pushed in twenty fifteen. It did and I'm yeah. happy with that. Good, yeah. Um, because I'm, we're already getting one game sort of like that this year. I'd rather have Destiny this year and yeah. The Division next year. The thing is, I'm fine with them delaying games. I'm just tired of them announcing them so early now. Because well, you know they're going to get delayed. Now, like, understand that sometimes happen. a developer doesn't control announcement. That's a lot true. of times it gets announced because there's a listing of a copyright mm -hmm. or a patent. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not blaming the developers for that. I'm just blaming the sure. well, how much PR they put into it too early. And like at the moment with the what was the game they were advertising it was uh, Battle Cry okay. they're advertising the beginning of the beta next year in fall yes that is too much with, with a trailer that was three minutes of CG gameplay and they had some gameplay at E3 like, to show people. It's just it's too much. Just wait, wait until. Mm. <coughs> yeah. oh, well, mm. Okay. Uh, so. So the, what's so it's, on the visor? So it's pretty. Uh, top left is your ship. Now. No, each, I meant the orange. Light. Oh, that. That's yeah. That's um, essentially just splash for light. Wow. So first of all, it's a gorgeous game. It's going to have hundreds and hundreds of systems with thousands of total planets. 
Um, the I'm, I'm gonna walk through everything. So it's the yeah. So top left, <laughs> you see your layout of the ship. The ship shows you its current condition. Each individual hull area and system has its own subroutine. Um, I'm trying to remember we'll how we do this. Have you tried one? Th one th whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Not like that. Warning. There we go. Whoop. So different views. Uh, that's the rear view. That's the in cockpit view. Wait, there was a warning. It we was. Go back to that. The, it's a it's a circle. <laughs> you, you you, you essentially, you have a sphere you can fly around in. But oh, let's go back to yeah. cockpit for you. <laughs> so um, so let me see yeah. what the Whoop. so pick, zoom and pick uh, five. Why don't we pick five? Is that? Uh, I, f I figured the. Uh, different weapon systems, since they say 1 through 5 were keyed to 1 through 5. Yeah, let me try it on here. So, um, first of all, space alternates between Whoop. standard thrust and the Newtonian. Um, so essentially, Which means? you cut the engine out and your ship continues with the inertia it had before. You can do that if someone is pursuing you, a la Battlestar Galactica. If someone is pursuing you, you can you can cut the engines, maintain your thrust, spin around, and target who's following you. Um, this is the very first space flight sim that has had a true, complete physics um, like system from the top down that accurately represents space flight. Now, is there a way to speed up even faster? Uh, I believe... Reactivate your main engines? Shift... On the keyboard should be afterburner. There oh. you go. Warning. You are approaching simulation. Right. If you run into that, you'll die. Um, so first of all, Warning. it's it's a gorgeous game. It's, it it just it looks really nice. Um, but so if you'll switch back into your cockpit view, please, because I want to talk through the HUD really quick. Um, so each individual part of each individual ship is realized in the physics engine. If your ship is damaged in a way that changes your center of mass or gravity or thrust, it will pivotally alter the way your ship handles. Huh. So currently, as you can see, when, when he did that, he was facing in this direction, but the ship was sort of sliding down on the, the Z-axis because of the way that the, the physics engine works. Can right. you blow those up faster? Uh, you can damage them. I don't I don't know if you can totally destroy what them. What about that station that's shooting the bright beam towards the planet? Which I, 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 I'm, Again, I'm not sure if you can damage it yet. He is currently just in the free flight sequence. Yeah, we'll yeah. show the combat in a minute. But you can, you can take some pot shots at it if you want to. So along the left, you have your different weapon systems displayed. Um, you were able to inputs, and you'd actually have to hit the key bindings, because I haven't played this in about two weeks. But the key bindings will show you um, the exact controls for everything. You can link and group weapons. Ooh, that is the cool. edge of space, essentially. Ooh. Now, obviously, Ooh. the full game is going to be um, a lot different from that, much larger. Are you still in... No, you weren't. You weren't. That was just a... You just reactivated in Yeah. Main thrusters. Shoot the, try and shoot the big station thing. Mm. So is there any, so this is basically a, bit, a little bit of a flight tutorial with apparently some combat. Mm -hmm. Has there been any information about the world? Like what is that station shooting yellow beam down? Um, I have seen a lot of indication that they have a lot of world building elements involved in it. So like terraforming world building um, or? No, like just the, the galaxy okay, as a whole with the backstory. That one looks like it's creating a hurricane. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, there are two podcasts that are out. They're called Around the Verse, um, which are um, essentially um, a combination of dev and world explanation. But the website has a tremendous amount of stuff like that. There are a lot of short stories, comic books. There's uh -huh. a lot of fan fiction already. Uh -huh. um, the world is very fully realized. And again, we are talking a game with hundreds of systems with thousands of planets. Um did anyone here ever play Freelancer? No. Okay. So um, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you help me explain Freelancer it's because this awesome. game is a spiritual successor to it. Um, essentially, in that game, you were you started off with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. You were a pilot. You had a ship. Uh -huh. There were tons of factions that you could take missions for, and every single time you took a mission, you advanced the cause of one of those factions. There were. It was one of the first games I ever played with multiple endings. You could take it in a lot of different directions, and you could be in the military, 
You could be a private contractor. You could be a pirate. You could be a traitor. So you could be a smuggler. Single player Eve minus the factions. Yes. Well, that you start off with. Right, but to be honest with you, a lot, a lot less in depth in terms.